welcome to today's tech shop walkthrough where we're starting with Steve, our senior tech. And we're just staring at some goodies that he's got here. Uh, the Quattro seal um, stuff. It's seal and elliptical. We do not do a lot of seal and elliptical. Um, no, they seem they've got a fairly limited line, although it's the 20, 30 pieces they offer. Um, looks like it's well made. It's in decent shape, too. Yeah, yeah unfortunately. We have no way to test it. So yeah. this is one of those cases where we can show you what we do when we have no software, no way to test. Yeah, we, which we, is, it happens. It, yes. Well, it's just for a power test. Yeah. When we power it on, if it has robotic arms, we're looking for it to make any sounds, yeah. any movements, that the, that the motors are under tension, uh, which in other words, that means that after the power up, the motors will lock or become more rigid than normal. Um, before we report on the condition of the needles or probes, any staining, if we can open it up, and here's a case where uh, this cover uh, is off, and it looks like there may be something missing down inside there. Right. Those are things we try to describe um, into a unit. Again, same on this pump unit. We're going to describe um, what what's on that buttons work that they don't work um, that levers work their the cleanliness of the unit we try to if we can open them up um, tell you if you know the lack of spills or you know run for your life you know, flood that type yeah. of um, unit because uh, even an untested system is handy to somebody I mean there's not I can say there's not a lot of these systems floating around out in these markets. So, you know, at least if you've got somebody that's given you a thorough inspection, offers a warranty, you've got a safe place to kind of dabble if you want to add a, add a line or replace a unit or... Or, yeah, if you have a, you know, a, you need a lamp. Hey, there's probably the money right there. Yeah. Um, well, this is cool. Any idea what this one's for? I've never seen these set. No, I'm not really sure. You still getting uh, started? I'm just it? getting started to pull it out here early this morning, um, and started looking at it and it's nice. other other projects going on. Um, and it being at Friday, I'm trying to clear clear the deck, so to speak. Uh huh. And um, the weekend's week strong. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, cool. Oh. Thanks, Steve. Okay. Uh, I think Robert or Bart's got something he wants. Well, Rob was laying on the floor last time we were with him, so we'll see what he's doing now. So what you got? I hear there's something going on with sensors from you. Yeah. So we uh, just got done on uh, this unit here. We did uh, a full evacuation of the refrigerant. Um, we went through the whole uh, user and manufacturer uh, manual and they have a bunch of self-tests you can run on these. You run all the self-tests? Um, so we checked all the self-tests, uh, completely evacuated and refilled the uh, refrigerant. Uh, and we were getting an error and it comes down to this little sensor here. We're thinking this is a problem. So what we're going to do is we have our nice unit over here that has a working sensor. So we're going to take this one apart and take the sensor out of the one on the right here and put it in the one on the left and see okay. if we found our problem. So you're gonna like show us where the, the sensor is on this guy? Yeah, absolutely. You gotta take this front panel off here. Just like that. Are these Sakura models? Or uh, what, what <clears throat> model are these? These are, yeah, these, these are the Cryo 3s. So Cryo 3s from yeah. Sakura. Take this front guy off here. Slide around. Have you looked at any other cryostats yet, Rob? Is this um, one of your few, first? Fire? Okay. Yeah. Rob's our newest addition to the tech shop, so I was going to say, I, I haven't seen a lot of Sakura cryostats, but with the way they build tissue processors, I'm kind of thinking like, wow, yeah. it's probably going to be an amazing cryostat. So this is the valve here. Okay. These do a, uh, a sanitation purge. Uh -huh. So what they do is... Uh, they have a UV light built into the top here, so they close this lid, they lock it down, and they do a, you know, they infiltrate the whole top compartment with UV light, and then when they're done, they let it drain out, and it's got to go past here and through this valve, uh -huh. 
and this valve in the sensor tells you if it's safe to vent. Interesting. So what they do is you get this little sensor right at the bottom here. Uh -huh. It's pulled right out like that. And then you got that sensor. And that's then the sensor you just showed me, yep. but it's in a case. So then that's that sensor right there. That one looks so different. Gonna, this one's got the little black cover on it. Oh, okay. So you take that cover off and push that piece of metal down in there and slide that cover back up. Uh huh. So this is the good sensor here. Right. And then you got the little sensor right there. Cool. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this sensor and put it in that other machine and rerun the, the, a couple of those tests to make sure it works properly. Gotcha. Uh, and then if it does, we can order a new sensor, put these back on, and we got both of these out of here. So. Awesome. So, two for two. Yeah. We like two for two. We do. Cool. Rob, you were the first person to ever show us a part being removed from a system live during a tech shop review. Absolutely. Like that's, that's good television right there. Thanks, Rob. Right, not a problem. We're going to go bug Bart and see what he's doing. We're actually not in Bart's standard area this time. He always has us in that one nook. We're moving today. Uh, I didn't know you actually worked over here. I thought you could only work on that end of the tech shop. Well, this is also an unusual circumstance. It's a parts unit, so. Oh, wow. You mean a centrifuge that doesn't work? Yeah. I didn't no, know it was we possible. Can't. Well, we could get to work. Oh, OK. The main board's bad, so it's going to cost us too much. Mm -hmm. The centrifuge itself is a Zhuang. Uh -huh. I don't think anybody here still knows how to say that name. Juan. Um, it's like, is it French name Juan? Or I don't know. It's been, uh -huh. it's been sitting upstairs for a while. I decided to take another look at it. Um, it wasn't my project to begin with. Oh, uh, okay. So I figured with the new knowledge, we should take another look at it. It's only about a $500, $600 centrifuge working. Ford itself is about six, seven hundred. So easy choice there. Yeah, when the main board's gone, you either have another good main board sitting on another used unit or it's over. That's the end. When it comes to this, this era of centrifuge. Yep. So you just came to make us depressed. But that, that was your, your pitch. I only ever show you working stuff. Yeah, that's true. And now we have the unusual circumstance of a parts unit centrifuge, which we don't get that many of. So are you putting this mat together or are you taking out some useful parts? What's uh Back together. Back together, okay. Gonna list it for a uh, whole parts unit. Okay, so you're not gonna send this to the boneyard. I don't see uh, any significant value in keeping it for ourselves. I see. Well, you can't win them all, so Mr. Juan Centrifuge will return to the dust from whence he came. Right. Someday. But looks like it's a good looking compressor in there. Everything. The, the refrigeration still works perfectly. Yeah, hey, refrigeration is usually where the mess can be, so. So if somebody has a bad unit and they um, have a working man board, they could just throw it in here and they'd be good to go. Yeah, you never know what somebody could use, so, you know, better than letting it sit around. There's somebody out there that can use it sometimes. Yeah. Well, a depressing end to a tech shop review. A centrifuge that's finally seen its possible end of life. I feel like we could have a moment of silence for the party. And this has been today's Tech Shop Walkthrough. Thanks for joining us.